If you're a little self-conscious about the size of your forehead but don't think bangs like this are a good choice for you, did you know you can permanently lower your hairline? Dr. Thompson is back on the show from Utah Facial Plastics. You and I have talked about a lot of different procedures, but Dr. Thompson, I didn't know you did this one. Yeah, this one is not so well known or so common, um, but surprisingly I have a lot of women mainly come into my office and complain that their forehead seems to be out of proportion with the rest of their face. Okay, so let's talk about that. What do you mean by proportion? What would be a hairline that is just about average? Um, in plastic surgery we talk about the rule of thirds, mm -hmm. meaning the, the forehead from the eyes to the bottom of the nose and from the bottom of the nose to the chin should all be about equal thirds. And when that's not the case, sometimes things look just slightly out Okay, of so my hairline would be if I move these bangs to the side? Yes, and you wear bangs, you could go either way, you could pull your hair back. It really is a pretty equal third, those three segments. Is it because of thinning hair on the hairline? Is that what we're talking about? It's not usually thinning hair. Most, most people have had this their whole life. It's something that they may be self-conscious about. Sometimes they don't want to pull their hair back because they feel like they have too much forehead showing. So what is the procedure that you do to correct that? There are two different ways to manage this. One is to literally remove a strip of forehead skin and pull the scalp down to mm. make the, the forehead lower, the hairline lower. That of course leaves a scar. We can usually hide it pretty well, but it does leave a scar and I think we have a couple of pictures of that to show. Um, and that's the procedure this woman had done? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, and there's a little bit of almost like a zigzag scar that you can see there, but you can see the size of her forehead is significantly smaller now and it looks better it looks like looks it's in natural. better balance mm -hmm. yes that it looks, looks much natural. more natural and what's the other way to go about the this? other way to do this in, and it's shown in this picture here is you can actually transplant hair into that area if you don't want to have a scar the downside of that is it usually takes a long time for that to fill in and, and require some degree of patience where do you choose the hair to transplant usually we take it from the back here where we can hide where it's been removed and then and move it to the front which one do you like better you know I prefer obviously it's an individual situation but in in general I feel like the surgical lowering of the hairline is a way to get an immediate result yes you have a scar to deal with but that fades quickly and then you're there whereas the hair transplant may require a couple of different sessions I love dr. Thompson that we're talking to women out there because I think so often when we do talk about hair loss it's men that we're discussing but right. women deal with this too yeah I mean I have a lot of women come into my office sometimes they have an irregular hairline they might have a widow's peak that they don't like and there are a lot of things that we can do with hair transplant to make that or some women even have temporal recession meaning you know they have more of like a male pattern recession of their hairline and We've that's something we can work talked with. about this on the show before but my husband Scott had the hair transplant and he had it done just have been about a year and a half ago and he was the talk of the most recent Cinco de Mayo party it looks so natural that all the guys were coming up trying to see where you had it transplanted, where you had it done. He's so happy with it. Yeah, and you know, the technology has really advanced to the point where you can really do a hair transplant and, and make it so that somebody really can't tell that anything was done and, and you look at before and afters and you're like, wow, this looks so much better than it did before. And you're right, the results weren't immediate, but I, act I actually like that because th it was this gradual change yep. that nobody really noticed until he had the fullness back in his hair that he was looking for. Yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those things that actually takes a year for the hair to kind of fill in, but sometimes that's a good thing because most men are not so excited about everybody knowing that they had a hair transplant. So if this is something that you're thinking about everybody, Utah Facial Plastics is the place to go. That is their website, utahfacialplastics.com and the phone number. I have to say congratulations to everybody there too. They just won 2019's Best of SLC for Plastic Surgery. So I think they're amazing, but so do a lot of other people that hopped on there and voted so congrats to you thank you very much you guys always do such a we great appreciate job it. Thanks, good to see Nisha. you up next everybody